busy world going Nordic as Francine Stock visits Oslo for Destination Art. Scenery. Norway is also renowned for its cultural landscape, which has produced such artists as Edvard Munch and the dramatist Henrik Ibsen. Oslo, Norway's capital and largest city, boasts a wide selection of galleries displaying an impressive range of art from past to present. wide range of talent on the contemporary art scene. He's one of the most established artists of his generation and, uh, and certainly the most established and, uh, uh, shall we say, greatest pioneer of uh, photo photography as uh, art in, in uh, contemporary art in Norway. We were one of the first galleries to show photography in this country and uh, we started out then with Tom and uh, uh, we have kept on since. I started doing photography when I was about 16, I think. My father who brought me into a dark, a dark room and uh, and it was my first time in a dark room and he put my hand on a piece of paper and exposed it and um, that was it for me that was a very magical moment it's a kind of ritual to 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 develop film make contact sheets and put the choose from the contact sheets look for the negatives go down to the dark room because it gives you maximum contact with with um, the work i'm a black and white printer 90 percent of my work is made this way i've been working with um, i think i worked with one camera and one lens for about 20 years or 17 years i work from if, if I go to town or to the shop now to do some shopping, I, I work on the way. I always work. He's always wearing his camera. Um, or he's not wearing it, he's having his bag that he's dragging after him. Um, so, so he's shooting at uh, the most un unlikely things and unlikely moments. Obviously, Norway has a it's a it's a big country with very few people, so there's a lot of space, uh, and also you have the uh, the times of the year which are somehow very important. Also, the light there is uh, has been or is important. I photograph just about anything and I, I don't I don't a lot of my since I've been traveling so much lately a lot of my work is is from airports it's pictures uh, taken from the, the airplane fairly new shot there. It's, it's from an airport. If you see in this picture, there's uh, a guy walking here. There's one walking out of the picture here. You see a suitcase is on the way out. And the guy here is also walking and his, one of his feet are above the ground. Now I started to work inside the plane. This is a 
quite an interesting image. It's some, also something with the, 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 the presence of the guy, the way he looks, and uh, it fits very much into the rest of the series. The airport and airplane thing has been coming more and more in his work. And um, uh, the last show they did was, was a really big hit, and uh, everybody was struck with some of these uh, um, uh, fairly uh, kind of common images with the, that had a certain strange air of uh, uh, mysticism. The thing about planes is it's, uh, it's obviously from traveling, but uh, it has also developed the taste for being in the air. Nationally, Tom has been showing uh, in, uh, in uh, some group shows uh, over the last uh, 10 years. Uh, obviously, he's very established here in Scandinavia, but now, uh, for next year, he's having his first uh, major uh, museum show uh, in the United States, the PS1 in New York. And a lot of this work that is on the table will, will be there. And Francis Bacon once said that art is about recording and reporting, which I find so easy and simple. It is, in many ways. The new generation of artists in